I'm Michael Runza, project manager for One Santa Fe. Uh, we reached some very uh, significant milestones on the project. One would be the erection of the precast columns at Building A, um, and the other is the construction of the freestanding uh, bridge that spans 175 feet over the on-grade parking garage. The first thing that catches your eyes is that there, for 175 feet, there's no support underneath the bridge. It, it's, uh, it's the support that you see underneath it now is all temporary. It will all come out. It really signifies the height of the building to people have to understand that we still have two more floors still on top of that to go. The view from the deck up there is amazing to downtown so far. And we're not even all the way up yet. There were some significant challenges putting the bridge up because of the, the length of the span, it could not be completely erected at once. So we had to do it in sections, six sections to be exact. On one, we did one on the north end and the other, and then the other two on the south end, and then we had to put the section up in the middle and hope that they married up together, which they did. During the erection of the bridge, we, ha we had to erect the bridge in one trust member at a time. We had our troubles with it, with it tweaking and falling over, not staying in a straight line. So we had to guide wire off the, each truss down to K rails that were placed down on the slab and out towards the street to hold it in a straight line, let alone all also with holding it up to elevation. see it erected, I mean, it, uh, it really brought the project to life, not only for us and the team and the workers, but also for the community. I mean, this bridge is, is basically at the, the top level of the project. So, I mean, to see the guys putting it together, I mean, we stopped traffic many times and people just had to sit and watch. A building, which is where we're standing right now, the biggest milestone we've, we've hurdled so far is the erection of the precast columns on a building it signified us being able to be out of the ground they're actually 49 foot tall from the basement level they were erected on four inch and a quarter bolts that were precast into the into the foundations the columns were then uh, braced to the interior of the of the building and locked in with the exterior masonry walls before backfill of the basement level We used a 250 ton uh, hydro crane. Each piece was brought separately on one flatbed truck, crane set inside the basement and pull and erected the columns off the street and stood them in place. Precast allows us uh, to be, go at a faster pace. It's all precast off site, so it's precasted well in advance of when we need the product and all we have to do is bring the crane out, truck the material in, and actually erect it. There was a dual point lifting system off the top of the column, that the same way that they pick up tilt-up panels. The, pick, the, uh, the column was lifted straight up, carried over to the building, and dropped straight down onto the bolts. Um, using the precast at Building A, was critical because of how tight the site is logistically. You're less than two feet away from an existing MTA structure that's over 75 years old. And on the other side, uh, right on Santa Fe Avenue, where we had a slope cut excavation. So using precast was in the most logistically uh, simple way of doing it. You bring out the crane three days or so, set everything, you're good to go, as opposed to using uh, conventional cast in place with concrete pumps and form work and rebar and setting all that. It just saved us a lot of time.
Bernard's had a, a significant input in the design from the very beginning. Um, you know, we uh, made suggestions uh, that would help costs. The, uh, the use of the precast was actually something that we brought to the table. It is our subcontractor who's designed building the precast system. The building is uh, altogether 1,600 lineal feet long. Um, it's, it's got an odd shape, it's very slender um, at building A, and then uh, it sits over a trapezoid piece parking garage, and then from that it comes up and uh, it's segmented almost like a train to mirror uh, the train yard that it sits right next to.